Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Project Science Psycho again with you today and in this one we're gonna be focusing on one of my favorite series and the one of the latest games in the series as well, Darksiders 3. So, as far as everything goes about Darksiders 3, as you know it's an action role-playing video game developed by Gunfire Games actually. They have changed the producers for this one, the developers, but it was still published by THQ Nordic and released for multiple platforms actually. For the PC, PlayStation, Xbox One and even later on for a Nintendo... Uh, well, for the Nintendo Switch. Um, they actually adapted it to that, which is amazing. So, as far as the story goes and everything, well, the game actually was released in 2018, so it's a bit... well... Slightly older game, but it's still up to point even today. Um, so as far as the story goes and everything, you're pretty much thrown back into the Darksiders universe with everything that is going on. But where are you thrown? Um, as you can remember, we left off with Darksiders 2 and Death sacrificing himself. But where does Darksiders 3 start off? Um, from the beginning of the game, it's maybe, it might be a bit, like, how should we call it, um, illogical, or you might be a bit confused from where, you're, where you are starting, but after a while you figure out that the events happening in Darksiders 3 are actually the events happening even before Darksiders 1, so it's, you can take it as sort of a prequel and a sequel. Um, but... Um, Darksiders 3 actually keeps, um, kind of, how should we call it, the same um, gameplay mechanics and everything else from the first two, se from the first two um, installments. Um, but you are playing as a new horseman, which is actually really cool on how they did the take on the Darksiders series because in every game you're playing as a different horseman. In Darksiders 1 you started out as war, Darksiders 2 gives you death, and Darksiders 3 gives you fury. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but there's Darksiders 4, well 4 technically, um, as well, which gives you strife, but we're gonna get to that later on after we finish with the gameplay videos and make a review on that one. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, the whole story is focused on the events which were which were happening before Darksiders 1, which gives you a good vision into how everything went down, because Darksiders 1 pretty much threw us in the middle of everything. In the middle of the action going on with um, everything that's happening and not much to go on as far as the, um, the events that happened before Darksiders 1, which Darksiders 3 um, pretty much covers it up really well. Uh, so as far as the gameplay goes, as I was saying, you are playing as Fury, one of the horsemen of the apocalypse with a whip as her main weapon. Which is amazing pretty much because even if you have your whip as the main weapon, you, through additional power-ups and getting through the game, you get access to a ton of new weapons, which are pretty much, um, how should we call them? They are called hollows. Um, which you incorporate into yourself and get access to, I think there's four or five different weapons that you can get. Um, so getting a new combat style and everything throughout the game is amazing. And m being able to switch it uh, throughout combat is even better. Um, so it's pretty much based on, how should we call it, you can pretty much focus your combat style on what you like. You can have a hammer, you can have a whip, you can have fast weapons. There's a ton of options that you can you can use pretty much. And with each weapon you get new power-ups, access to new areas, and new puzzles. As we know, the Darksiders series is quite focused on puzzles and collectibles throughout the game, which are very rewarding um, if you manage to get them in, well, when you are supposed to get them. You can collect them throughout the um, throughout your gameplay, or just collect the all of the collectibles right before you finish off. Um, in our gameplay, I actually managed to get all the collectibles throughout the game. So if you go if you go watch that, you can find the the parts where everything is located. Um, 
So yeah, but as far as the critics go for the game, it kind of received mixed reviews upon its release. It was really good, but the technical issues and bugs that were um, present from the beginning um, kind of gave it a more negative... Um, how should we call it? A more negative feedback. Uh, the gameplay itself isn't too difficult. I mean, depends on how hard you make it for yourself. But in any case, it is manageable even even when not being a like hardcore gamer. Um, I managed to complete it on the hardest difficulty, which was quite challenging actually. The boss fights are amazing with different, um, how should we call it, mechanics to each one and some puzzles incorporated even into the boss fights to kind of make it more, more interesting and more, how should we call it, and they get the player more involved and make them think of how they, how they pretty much need to go. Um, the third part of the Dark S of the Dark Siders series pretty much ends right before, um, right before the first part begins. So that pretty much gives you a kind of how should we call it, um, oh, yeah. a hole with the three parts that were released. Um, and right before the story of the fourth fourth part to kind of well before the story the fourth part features a different story but it gives you a look into the past as well um, so yeah I'm gonna recommend this game to all of you guys who enjoy third person how should we call them beat em up games actually um, there's a lot of exploration a lot of collectibles and a lot of things to do all around um, and, if you love puzzles, this is one of the games for you and the series. Um, the amount of puzzles that you have throughout the game is a lot. And each of them is, I mean, quite different from the, the ones before and the ones that you faced up until now. So it always keeps you in the game. The boss fights are amazing and even the story itself is really cool. So yeah, that's going to be it from my side for this one. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and join me in the next one.